dinosaur kale pesto is so tasty and so versatile. This recipe is not a classic pesto, but it's just as good, if not better, and it's more affordable to make. You might not have heard of dinosaur kale, but it looks like this. You can also make this recipe with other kale varieties. They're all superfoods packed with nutrients. Get out your sharpest knife. Flatten the garlic by pounding it down with the side of the knife. This makes it easier to peel. It will be blended eventually, so you can chop it roughly. No need to use a garlic press. Slice a lemon in half and juice it. Strain out the seeds. You don't want to find a seed in your pesto. Set the juice aside. There are two ways of removing the leaves of the kale from the stem. Slice them off with a knife or remove them with your hands. Don't throw away the kale stems. You can use them in other recipes. We'll give a link to an article on how to use them in the video description. Kale is packed with nutrients and vitamins. It is officially considered a superfood. Pesto is a great way to eat kale as none of the nutrients are cooked away. Twist the kale up to make it faster to chop. Look at that leafy goodness! Now it's time to measure out a third of a cup of olive oil. Olive oil is full of healthy fats and antioxidants. Parmesan is easier to grate if you cut off a chunk first. We like to use a microplane, but any fine grater will do. You'll need a quarter cup of grated cheese. We use frozen peas for our pesto, but you can also use fresh. To blanch the peas, bring salted water to a boil. Add the peas and cook on high for two minutes. Then immediately strain them and put them in a bowl with ice to stop the cooking. Strain again and set aside. In a large wide mouth jar, add the garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, and peanut butter. Make sure to use natural peanut butter with no sugar added. You can also use other nut or seed butters. Add the salt and blend with a hand blender. Using peanut butter is a lot less expensive than buying pine nuts, which are used in classic pesto. Add a large handful of basil. Then the same amount of kale. Then the peas. Mix it all together. We like ours chunky, so we only blend it a little. Now add the parmesan. You don't want to add it earlier as the heat of the blades can cause it to melt. Blend again. With just a little work you've made yourself a superfood pesto. You can use your pesto as a sauce, a spread, or a dip. However you use it, it will taste delicious.